So I sat down to film a haul video and I realized that I haven't done my September favorites yet. So I feel like I need to get that out of the way first. I don't have a lot of products, but I have um, a few products that I'm really, really, really loving. So first of all, I just want to say that my skin has been acting a fool this month. So this first product is a cleanser and it is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Foaming Scrub with Micro Clear Technology. I got this just because Neutrogena is just one of those like, when you think of face wash, first thing I think of is Neutrogena. The first time I used it, when I woke up the next morning, my skin actually looked a little bit better. I was very, very surprised. Maybe it's just coincidence, but maybe it's this guy. So yeah, I've been using it ever since and I have not broken out since I've started using this. I still have a couple pimples that are very, very stubborn because when I get pimples, they last forever. But I have not broken out with new pimples since I've been using this. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. The second skin care related thing is this seaweed ionic clay mask from The Body Shop. It's for combination oily skin and it is very, thick clay mask and this stuff woo, it sucks all the dirt out of your large pores and it takes away excess oil so if you are very oily this is a very good face mask for you um, I think it's like $20 which to me is expensive Think about how much people pay for um, masks at like Sephora um, or whatever. Some people pay like upwards of like a hundred bucks. So $20 really doesn't seem so bad. So again, with the theme of not so great skin days, um, I picked up two new foundations um, that are meant for blemish prone skin. And one is the Vichy Normaderm BB Clear. This is a beauty balm, but has salicylic acid in it. The coverage doesn't look like much when you're putting it on your hand, but actually when you are putting this on your face, it does a decent job. Um, it does mattify the skin to an extent. I really like using it on bad skin days, even though it's not super full coverage. Um, it makes me feel like I'm using something that's not so harsh on my zits and does a decent job of covering them as well. So a little bit of a cheaper alternative to the Vichy is this All Made Clear Complexion 4-in-1 Blemish Eraser Foundation. Um, I've used the old formula. I'm not sure if they reformulated it or if they just updated the packaging. I'm not totally sure. This has 0.5% salicylic acid in it and this stuff is really good coverage. I really like the finish as well. It's kind of matte but it looks very very natural matte it does not look powdery matte at all it's a thicker consistency but it applies very very well with a damp beauty blender especially keeps the breakouts at bay very good coverage the only thing that stops this foundation from being like totally perfect is the fact that it oxidizes on me and doesn't really turn the shade that I need it to be which is kind of unfortunate um, but I still really really like it and I will continue using it especially on bad skin days another thing that I got from the body shop is this lip and cheek velvet stick and this is like a really cool like thing it comes in a bunch of different colors but I got this one in the black too and it's funny because this is all flat because I've used it like every day this month, but it looks black like this right here is actually The lipstick and it is black, but when you put it on your hands It slowly turns pink it's supposed to react with your pH levels to give you a different shade of pink I don't know if that's totally true because it pretty much always looks like this pinkish purple color but Maybe. I guess I just don't really notice it, but even so, I still really, really like this color. It's very, very moisturizing, and the fact that it starts black and turns pink uh, when I put it on my lips is very interesting to me. This next lip product is from the drugstore, and it is by CoverGirl. It is the new Outlast, new Outlast Long Wear and Moisture Lipstick. It's the commercial with like pink. 
I don't, I don't know, there's lots of commercials with pink. Um, but this is a really pretty raisin red kind of color. It just says 995. Oh, Amazing Auburn. And that is a really good description. There it is right there. It's probably a little bit darker in person than what you're seeing right now. Um, but it is really, really nice color, very moisturizing. The only thing I will say is that it claims to be like this crazy lasting lipstick. And I don't think that it is. It's not matte. It's not like super stay. Like you can easily just like wipe it off with your hand. However, I love the color. I've worn it like 20 times this month. But what I do is when I put it on, I will immediately blot to get any of the access like whatever off and then I feel like that looks and feels the best. Okay, last lip product is this e.l.f. matte lip color. It is very, very nude. What is it? In the shade natural. There it is right there. It's very, it's not like super nude, but it's like medium, medium nude, mauve nude. Very natural lip color. Um, I put it on when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look. It is very, very matte, stays for a long time, and it's just really cheap and great all around. Next is a primer, and it is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. This is in the oil control um, category. It's a very interesting primer. I feel like when I put it on my T-zone, I really do have less oil. Pretty much one of the only primers that I've ever found that works really well with my oily skin and with my skin being so like random this month it's also been extra oily so I've been using this more than usual. And those are my favorites for the month of September. Not a lot of stuff but the stuff that I do have I've been really really enjoying and I think that you guys might too. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.